So today what I want to show you is how to build a personality survey in Python. I'm going to be using the idle editor. You can choose what editor you want to create this in. The code will work the same. So what is a personality survey? Well, it's a collection of subjective questions. So what's your favorite food? What's your favorite TV show? Things like that. Based on those answers, Python can help you do things like uh, open up websites based on the answer they give or keep track of your score, all kinds of things. You can print funny responses if people give an answer that you don't like so or, or tell jokes. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to build a basic question. So on this side of our screen, we have the blank document where we're going to write our Python file. Over here, we have the shell. When you write lines of code in the shell, they get executed immediately and they don't get saved. So for example, when you print, you know, what's your favorite TV show over here, the computer isn't saving these lines of code. It's running them and then they're done. So normally when you do print um, and you look inside of the function print, it's just gonna spit out whatever that text was. It's not giving me a real, ans uh, a real ability to answer that question. There's a different function called input. Now input will print out the text inside of those parentheses, but what, what I get is after the question a blinking line, and I can answer this, and the computer will immediately put out the answer that I typed in. I want to be able to use input to store answers and then do things based on my answer. So if I write the office, maybe it'll tell me a line from the office or pull up a picture of Dwight or something like that. Um, over here on the left side, let's write this. We're gonna do input. We're gonna paste our question in. And uh, what I wanna show you is on the left side of input, we're gonna create a variable. So our variable stores information. And the information we wanna store is the answer to that question. So in this case, we're gonna make a variable just called show. And that's the answer to your question, what's your favorite show? Um, show equals input, what's your favorite show? And maybe after we answer that question, we're just gonna print out your favorite show is, and then plus show. And it's gonna add in to that uh, series of characters, your favorite show is, the answer that we gave up here and it will form a phrase. Your favorite show is The Office. When we run this, we're going to have to save it. So we're going to run our module. We do run and run module and we save it for the first time. I'm going to save mine right to the desktop and call it personality with my initials. And over here on the right hand side, notice how this code is running. It doesn't remember anything from up here. So if I write friends, it will tell me my favorite show is Friends. It has nothing to do with the code that, wrote, that, that was running before here. Okay, so that's one way we could answer this question. Um, but this is kind of boring, just saying your favorite show is this. So what if we wanted to give a more complex answer? Maybe if my user says their favorite show is The Office, I tell them something in response because that's my favorite show. And if they say a show like Friends, I give them a different answer. What we can do is use conditionals. So let's use them. Uh, a conditional always starts with if. So our first condition will be met if the show double equals, if, it, if the comparison between the show you gave up here double equals, and then in quotes, we're gonna write the office or whatever your favorite show is. And we put a colon after that. So if our show double equals the office colon, and then we can print out something funny, like you know, Beats, Bears, Battlestar, Galactica. There's a quote from The Office. Now, if they said their favorite uh, show was something else, we could choose a specific show, right? We could say, um, L if show double equals uh, Breaking Bad, we could print, that shows a little scary for me. We could add other conditions, right? LF show double equals the flash. Print 
here, that's a great one. But I haven't seen it yet. Right? And then we could give one more condition called else. And else means if someone says anything else, so right, if they said friends, right? Um, this is where it would happen. Print your favorite show is, and then plus show, which is very similar to the line that we wrote originally. So let's test this out. Let's run it and see what happens, right? I get my question. What's your favorite TV show? I'm going to try The Office first. So as soon as I press enter, um, this conditional will begin to evaluate. So I entered the office. So show up here sort of transformed into the office. And this first condition, if show double equals the office, this turns into if the office double equals the office, which is true, right? It will print this out. Let's run it again. Let's try the flash. Here's what happened. When I entered the flash, the value for this variable show became the flash, right? And it went down this list. If the show double equals the office, well, that was false, so it skips it. L if, which means else if, so that's not true. Else if the show double equals Breaking Bad, well, that's not true. So we're going to keep going. So L if the show double equals the flash, oh, that is true. And when something is true in this conditional, it immediately happens, right? It doesn't even go on to try else. So let's try this one more time. I'm going to try writing in friends. And all three of these evaluated false. And this last one happened, right? So that's how you make your questions. And you can, you can essentially um, follow this formula to make any kinds of questions that you want, right? You can ask what their favorite food is. And, you know, if the food double equals pasta, you can print out that answer. And if it was sushi, they could, you could do a different one. And so on, right? And we can make as many conditions as we like. Right, that exact same format for question one just works for question two. Let's add in some stuff to make this a little more interesting. So if I answer the office, I want to pull up a picture of the office for the user. Or I could even pull up a YouTube video of funny, uh, uh, funny moments from the show. So in here, I'm going to go to the top of my program and make some space at the top. And I'm going to start off my file. With these, uh, with these four pieces. The first piece is import. Second piece is web browser. It's all one word. Third piece is as. And the last one is wb. Let me explain what just happened here. We're going to bring in a special function for our program. What we're doing is we're importing a module. So modules are, live outside of this program. Um, they have their own sets of functions. They can do things that are totally different from just the basic features of Python. So we're importing a module called Web Browser. Notice how there's a space here, but there isn't a space between Web and Browser, and there are two Bs. One of the biggest mistakes I see is just the spelling of Web Browser. <laughs> so just check that one out. Import Web Browser, and then we're giving it a nickname. So import Web Browser as WB. So what we're going to do here is instead of typing out web browser every time we need to use it, we are giving it a nickname, WB. So when we use it down here, instead of typing out web browser.open, I can do WB.open, open and close parentheses, and I'll do two quotes in here. And inside of those quotes, you can paste the link to whatever you want to open. So for example, I'll do the office site. I'll go to images, I'll find one that I like, and let's do this. We're going to open this image in a new tab, and I'm going to copy this URL up here, 
and go back to our program. And notice how I have wb.open. I've got two sets of quotes here. I'm going to paste it in between those quotes. This happens a lot. The links are a lot longer than the width of um, this window. You can stretch this out if you want to see the whole thing. Sometimes, you, honestly, you can't see all the way to the end. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to read this over quickly. The top of our program is going to import this feature, web browser. We're going to show, I'm going to close this up just so you see how this works. We're going to import web browser as WB, so we have those powers. We're going to sa uh, save a variable called show. We're going to ask our first personality question, like what's your favorite TV show? And if they answer the office, we're going to print a special message over here. And then we're going to open up that picture of Dwight. Okay, so let's run it and see what happens. So I get my question, what's your favorite TV show? I'm going to type in The Office. And boom, picture shows right up. Here is our, um, here's the quote that was printed, and we've moved right on to our next question. So I'll answer sushi, right? And you can imagine just adding more questions here. Um, make this fun, make it interesting, add in your own personality to this survey, and then share it with somebody. The best part is when you share it with another person and have them take it. All right, have fun.